Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and today we have the Some Ordinary Podcast, episode one, with my beautiful co-hosts, Nux Taku and Oompaville. You guys want to Yo, introduce what yourselves? Up? Hell yeah, I'm excited. Same. <laughs> wow, that, that, that really rolled off the tongue. Wow. I don't know, man. We only had one take for our intros, okay? I only had one take, too. But you know who else can bring the, the, the splendor and the joy is our good friend Charlie, a.k.a. Moist Critical, a.k.a. the man with a billion dildos at his house. Feel free to introduce yourself, my man. Hey, everyone. Yeah, I'm that guy with an absurd amount of dildos and shit. It's beautiful, and I'm very happy to be here. Mudahar is a true professional. He did that all in a single take. Stone cold <laughs> ice in his veins. This guy's a real professional. Yeah, thank you. This man has more dildos than Caleb has guns. It's pretty sick. W- weren't we supposed all to right, be Whatever. It's yeah, not just that big a deal. Avoid. All right, well, we'll circle back. Yeah, you you uh, introduced him as the dildo any... guy. What are you yelling at me for? You, you did do that. <laughs> okay, but that, to be fair, though, he did spend a whole month uploading that kind of stuff. That's the one thing about Charlie that I've never understood. It's like, how is it that this man is so brazenly skirting the policy violations? Like, I could never even conceive of uploading anything like that. And here you are challenging and breaking your house beams with that. Well, I, I wouldn't say it's challenge. I'm right. I follow the rules. I'm, I'm playing by YouTube's terms. You know, we don't like use them we you know do True. trick shots we hold right. them I mean, play with them but we never like actually use them for their i'm pretty sure purpose. susan only allows the sex toy content because she's afraid of like a self-defense fleshlight to the jaw oh true yeah <laughs> i have mastered that art yeah. i mean the, the one that i like love to see the most was when you guys took it to like the this this place by your warehouse i think because you guys have a warehouse now and you were like using was that a yeah. dick? It's gonna go up. No, 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 that was a rock. Using like firearms with it, like you were testing the bulletproof <laughs> oh, yeah. strength. I of the love value. that so much. That was a lot hey, of fun. Feel free to use this idea, by the way, but I, I've had this idea on the back burner for a long time. A trebuchet. See how far you can launch the Moby Huge with a trebuchet. It's interesting. I to don't bring know. That up. Uh, so we wanted to bring out like the science YouTubers, Mark Rosen, oh, our scientist William Osmond, oh and see who could throw God. it the furthest with technology. So like trebuchets, maybe like a rail gun. Oh, Yo, you yet. get away with it because you're educational content. That is education. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, well, I want to learn about the physics implications of the Moby Huge versus a rail gun. Yeah. So, yeah. If you could launch one, if you could like have a rail and launch one like a rocket, and then you could have one spin. I'd be yeah. interested to see how like. How the physics of each, how it carries, you know. Do you think any of them could make it go like suborbital? Like, you <laughs> oh, think, dude, yeah. <laughs> you'd be the first Moby <laughs> Huge to hit space, like the ISS is detecting it. That would be pretty amazing. I think there's a shot. I think if Mark Rober really wants to get mm-hmm. like the elephant toothpaste crew together, they could yes. probably refine that formula and get the Moby Huge out there. You know what you could do? You could launch it into space, and you could attach like a like a camera to it, and also disprove the flat Earth oh! stuff that I keep seeing on Facebook. I was just about to say, make it, just make it go like a little bit higher than that guy, the flat Earth guy who <laughs> launched himself, to he tried to launch himself into orbit and fucking just crashed down. He didn't yeah. eject or anything, he killed him, he died. <laughs> Wait, what? He died? Yeah, he, he, died <laughs> from, Whoa, what? he died from the yeah. stunt. He, he set up a homemade yeah. rocket ship and it shot like straight up and out, but there was no safety parameters or a parachute, so it just yeah. crashed and he, he died in it. All right, Not so, funny. So far, we started the podcast talking about I mean, look, like, suicides yeah. and. No, but it's not. That wasn't an oh. intentional one, though. Yeah, Let's be honest here. Yeah. The guy flew into space for crying out loud. Well, that, he didn't like, get there. Yeah, I mean, it's the thought that counts, right? Like, it's well, the, fair, it's the intention, the I guess. I got to give him credit. The flat Earth and that's what shot him down. Oh, that's probably what it was. He off ricocheted the off the force field. <laughs> yeah. What do they call that thing? It's the ice wall, bro. It's the ice wall. The thing from Genesis. What do they call it? They have like a weird name for it. Wait, are you talking about Terminator Genesis? Don't you fucking No, no, the Bible. Oh, oh, the firmament. The, <laughs> the firmament, Bible. gamers. The firmament, that's it, yeah. The firmament. <laughs> Terminator <laughs> Genesis. No, no, look, I, look, I just, look, I just watched that movie. The I wa- Listen, there are two pieces of media I watched last night that were trash, okay? Well, in the last couple nights. Terminator Genesis, I watched like two, three days ago. It was such a bad movie. Like, yeah. you know, I'm a Terminator guy. Like, I like Terminator yeah. 1 and 2. I mean, like, I'm a normal human being. You Love know, Terminator nice. 3? Like, I'll even watch Terminator 3. Fuck it. I don't care. But, like, when I got to Genesis, I think halfway into the movie, I'm like, maybe I'm just too stupid to understand all these <laughs> plot changes and twists. So I just, 
I stopped watching it. Like, it's like the reason why, like, that new Terminator that came out, Dark Fate, and I don't care if the audience is like, oh, you spoiled it. They literally retcon Terminator 2 in the beginning. Like, at that point, I'm like, maybe I'll just Alt F4 and go watch something else, right? So, Terminator Genesis was trash, but have you guys watched that new Santa Inc. comedy no. at all? No, I but... saw the trailer and I was like, damn, this is just not good. So, here's the thing. I wanted to, like... So I wanted to, like, make a video on it, but I kind of chill back because, like, it, it usually when you talk about something like that, it gets really political on the internet. Yeah. And I try to shy away really hard. But I saw the trailer, like, everyone, and I thought, man, <laughs> they really <laughs> set the Rogan's post in cringe. So have you guys seen, like, the dislikes uh, on it? Yeah, so, mm-hmm. so when you yeah. unhide the dislikes, it's, like, 150 Wait, how do you dislikes unhide the dislikes? to 2K likes. It's an extension. Oh, extensions. Yeah. Yeah. That's hilarious. But like, I don't know how long it's going to be active, nor right. do I. I think it's like per YouTube's TOS to even use it. I don't like it is what it is. But like you can like they got destroyed on it. It was like it wasn't even a ratio. It was like it was like a good like percentage just the other way around. So yeah, I watch. So I, I go on to HBO Max, and initially I thought it was a movie, but then when I saw it was like a TV series, I was like, oh fuck, yeah. they're really trying to run the gauntlet on me. Yeah. So I, I watch it, and I'm like. This is just unfunny. Like, it's so unfunny that I'm like, was Seth Rogen ever actually funny? Because then I was watching all the other movies <laughs> that I watched with Seth, and I'm like, he just gets carried by James Franco or, like, Bill Hader or whatever other actor is uh, present. He was you funny. Know? Remember that time when he said uh, something about getting robbed in L.A. is not so bad because it's a great city or something? Dude, it's part of it's living in a big city, it. bro. Yeah, Stop. they just get your shit robbed. <laughs> No Seth Rogen's deal. a genius. I love those <laughs> tweets from him. I think that was truly a brave stance to take. LA's beautiful. I've been robbed 15 times and they left me a knife. You're a bitch. Just get well, over it. The funny thing is, like, when you saw the knife being left over, I'm like, maybe Seth doesn't realize, but couldn't that knife be used as, like, evidence in a court or something? That's like, what I thought. He's just re- like, he's really comfortable with a fucking weapon just yeah, sitting in his weapon. car. Hey, they stole well, my like, shit, but they left me a murder weapon. And also 15 times. Like, look... This is, it's also pretentious to say, like, it's a big city. Look, I live in a big city, too. We all live in decent cities, right? Like, I fucking, don't. I, well, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, dox anybody, but, like, I, I don't want to dox anyone in here. I live in Toronto. I'm sure, Charlie, you live in a decent sized city, too. How many times has your car been broken into? Well, knock on wood, zero so far. <laughs> Same so, pretty good street. Knock Same. on wood, zero for me, too. Zero for zero. So when I saw him say 15 times, I'm like, what part of the city are you parking in? 15 fucking flexing. times. He's like, yeah, yeah I was robbed and I woke up in a bath full of ice and they stole my kidney, but they left chocolate on the pillows in the motel, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the tweet chain, he said that he was parking his car on the street in West Hollywood, right? Which is where all these mug or, or these car break-ins happen to him. So I, I can actually attest that this is a very, very true scenario because last time, so we, we went to Los Angeles for VidCon, right? And so we me next on all these guys we booked a place in west hollywood and saturday night when i'm coming home i th- we left the gate open in the garage because like the fucking person who we airbnb from just didn't have any other option to get in it's like just leave the garage open and by the way the front door for the place the, the lock didn't work so it was just an it was like an open house to just go into as long as we were outside we were coming home on Saturday, and this, like, one guy was just washing his asshole, like, just straight wiping it on That's our, up. like, driveway with, like, the water and everything. Just fine. Like, no questions asked. I had this, like, hmm. five-minute stare-off with the guy in my in the car, and I was like, I was like, are you going to move? He's like, he just gives me the death stare. It's like, I'm just going to wash this <laughs> ass, and you're going to watch. <laughs> and it is what it is. <laughs> So I can attest that's that's the kind of place in West Hollywood. That's the general vibe you're getting, you know? It, it is what it is. Sounds like a beautiful city. I see why Seth Rogen loves it. It's got it a lot sense. going for it. Did you see what people posted under when he said there's a lot going? Because they just kept posting, like, photos of, like, all the tents yeah, in yeah. Los Angeles and, like, Venice <laughs> Beach. And I was like, oh, that's so sad. But, like... It's also the state where everyone plays Minecraft, too, you know, because the weather is good all year round. I mean, I was actually in L.A. at the same time as you, Muda. We overlapped like a day, but you were too wasted to meet up, unfortunately. (laughs) Anyway. so so wasted. (laughs) But yeah, I got the impression that it was the slowest, most laid-back city I've ever been in. It's like everyone was just kind of, like, vibing. It's also the city where it takes, like, an hour to get anywhere for some It's an hour reason. to get coffee because yeah. everyone online is like, so, like, the double macchiato or the... <laughs> like, <I can't. laughs> Why did your I don't know. Everyone in LA is a surfer, dude. Okay, they're all surfers. 
<laughs> like, yo, dude, bro. Double macchiato. <laughs> I don't know. That... Surfers are just, like, really wasted. Like, what? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think from the East Coast, life is completely different. You know, we're like fast moving, and everyone in yeah. Los Angeles is just like Slow. ten times. They're on like they're on like fucking negative two speed or something. I mean, have you so, heard Seth know. Rogen's laugh? He literally has like the Los Angeles laugh. No one from the East has that kind of laugh. No, are you no gonna like can't. show us what it sounds like? Or... He, you don't. No. Yeah, you know are his you laugh? gonna emulate? It? <laughs> 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 he literally laughs like that. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so Charlie, you got anything special coming up with uh with with any with any content? Like we know you just did Squid Game recently, you know, before Mr. Beast. That's you right. Did Squid yeah, you Game. stole from me. <laughs> He's a thief. Did you hit him up in the DMs about that? You're like, you content thief. <laughs> yeah, I was about to expose him. <laughs> I was about to just bring out the receipts. I don't think we have anything crazy coming up. Not that I can think of. Yeah, and then then tomorrow he's just gonna be like, "All right, boys, Moby Huge suborbital video." Yeah. Dude, on us. If you do that, that I cannot. I'm so excited. That's genius. I really. If you want do that, to. we have to come out there. We have to like we we floated <laughs> the idea. Okay, come on now. We told you about the suborbital. If you need land, like land. I have 80 acres you can use. Holy you shit, where do you... What is, like, I live in Texas. Have eyes shit? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's similar, bears. I mean, yeah. yeah. He runs a cult, too. So. Yeah, there is actually, no joke, a cult across the street from my land. <laughs> it's just called it his land. What? Like, so. get, to, get to know them. Yeah, there's a... Uh, <laughs> they call, The police called us and told us to, like, be careful about, like, going outside because there's been, like, multiple... Uh, especially if you're a woman. Specifically, I don't want to say the words that they that they describe because it's not great for yeah. YouTube's terms of service. But there's literally a cult, and they do terrible things to people, allegedly. And also, it's on the books as well. That's why they told us. So to not be allegedly. Careful. Gotcha. <laughs> so not allegedly, but it is fun. Uh, though. Do they have like a cool uniform? They do. They wear like robes. They they literally wear <laughs> robes and they walk up and down the road, and it's very. Are very you sure strange. they're not fucking clans people? No, though? no, like... no, no. It's like like uh, like um. Who are those people in uh, uh, Star Wars? The ones with the long guns in the desert? Oh, Tusken Raiders. They dress like Tusken Raiders. They're Tusken Raiders. I think you're just in a community of LARPers. Too. Make a video with them. You can title it, I made a video with cult men, women, and children, too. <laughs> they make, like, uh, like health foods, too. They, sit, they have, like, a little health food store over there. It's, it's all, like, this nasty granola stuff. It smells weird. Have you tried oh, it? Dude, they're... I have, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, That's it smells brave. terrible and weird. That's <laughs> yeah, that could be poisonous. He, he wasn't honestly, gonna review it without trying. I'm not gonna make fun of his granola if I don't taste it. It's like when you go buy like the fucking crappy like fake meat product. You know what I mean? Like yeah. uh, Impossible Burgers and shit. I I'll just be real and upfront. Those things taste like complete ass cheeks. It doesn't matter where you buy from. Oh, it's I all love, just I dog love Impossible shit. meat. That shit slaps for burgers. I, I feel like it's so much tastier. Do you, hmm. do you really though? I do, man. The only other burger that I can think of that I like as much of as like an Impossible one is a Five Guys one. We don't have like in and out or anything here, so maybe that would change my mind, but all other burgers are just so flavorless. Yeah, I guess from fast food, yeah. yeah. It makes sense. And well, like, yeah, I mean, if restaurants. you're comparing it to like McDonald's or something, <laughs> like, yeah, anything's fucking better than that shit. Speaking of being careful, do you guys know about the PlayStation <laughs> vice president that just got <laughs> yeah. caught? Yeah, George yeah. Cap Capioca, uh, Capioca or some shit, yeah. George fucking Starbucks last name, but yeah, he got a... This is something that has been kind of weirding me out lately. So you get, we all know about the EDP shit, right? Yeah. Obviously, mm -hmm. like I think aliens know about EDP stuff yeah. now at this point. And they had that predator poacher group, which was the fucking worst group that ever exists. Like these are the kinds of people that like are the reasons like EDP gets to go free, you know? Like this, this is the whole, re like right. they, they run these they investigations and there's exactly. Yeah. And so like this guy is just out there getting chat logs and they're really damning chat logs, by the way. But, like, he's just out there, like, no protection, no nothing, just out there screaming in this dude's neighborhood, goes up to the door. I'm like, I'm like, and then you look at his channel, and it's like, Predator Poacher, like, it's like number 167. And I'm like, you've done this 166 times, and not once has somebody stabbed you? I mean, to, yeah. to be fair, they're pedophiles, not assassins. Like, they're not, like like intimidating people they're all like scrawny <laughs> weirdos yeah. and they yeah, literally scrawny. prey on the weakest type EDP of person is well known children for being scrawny oh yeah there, uh, there's two spectrums i suppose <laughs> super scrawny or outrageously or too large. Tier. <laughs> they're all goofy though yeah they, like they're not i i don't think they would ever be physical 
Like, if you're going to be a vigilante, I guess you're probably be the best off targeting pedophiles. <laughs> you're virtuously going after them, right? Yeah, there's like, you mini you've minimized your risk for retaliation significantly. Do you want to be Batman? But you're out of shape! That's true. Well, look no further. <laughs> Just head on over. <laughs> Become a fucking predator poacher. <laughs> No, but he got he got caught and like PlayStation like well, fired. Obviously, yeah. let's be real; they weren't gonna they weren't gonna rebrand into Pedo Station. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. But like out of nowhere, and then this guy's like, but you know the thing that always weirds me out too about these like predator groups is like you go onto their page and it's like, all right, guys, sign up to our Patreon for exclusive early access predator poaching. Hey guys, get some predator poaching merch. Yeah, go to his page. It's just like you guys want to get some hoodies about where we people versus predator hoodies it is what it is go out and get it i'm like damn i mean it is what it is you know do what you have to but like christ God damn i don't know how friendly they are with law enforcement though but that's something that i found really cool one thing i found interesting is almost no game journalists covered that story i think only polygon and kotaku even wrote about it what? which is pretty crazy yeah, he was like the Wait, Sony really? VP of multiplayer or some shit. I don't remember. Yeah, the PSN. PlayStation Network. Yeah, 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 yeah. And only two outlets even covered the story in the game journalism sphere. It's a cover up. Well, why do you, why do you guys think that is? Do you think it's just because they get paid by like Sony to like? Show, is it like the whole Kane and Lynch fiasco again with like GameStop where they just don't? Did they get a memo? Cover their. I, don't know. I think a lot of like media sites okay. tend to rather align themselves with the bigger company. Yeah, yeah, because. A lot of it is also like the review copy sh shebang as well too, right? Like if you burn those bridges, then like That's true. your business basically can just yeah. go over. Like unless you're, I guess, as big as, what are the big ones? Like IGN or something? Like I guess unless you get to like IGN tier, you have to kind of, you know, suck off the big publishers a little bit. Well, that, that was the one that I, like stood out to me. So I think his name's like Dan Stapleton or something. He's like the head of IGN. He went on Twitter when someone said, why aren't you talking about it? He said, don't know who that is and we don't cover that kind of thing, which is like super wrong because IGN always covered anything gaming related, even if it was like an accusation against an indie developer or something at some point. But they didn't cover the VP Wait, of PSN. Yeah, they covered they covered the Activision thing though, right? The Activision Blizzard. I'm Bobby sure they Kodak did. Yeah. I just yeah, don't understand that. why they're choosing not to talk about this one, which is a pretty big deal. I guess because it is people versus Pred, a YouTuber doing it, so it's still all allegations. But they cover they cover allegations all the time. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, I just looked at like IGN stuff, and they're still talking like literally because of the whole activision blizzard being at the game awards now they're still covering that like crazy and i don't know man games media is wild you talk yeah, it's, it's again like the thing with the games media it's like you mention it but it's like one of those things where like if you talk about it or criticize it on the youtube landscape it becomes like a super political thing once again for no reason right like yeah like, like it shouldn't even be political it's just like why wouldn't you talk about this higher up dude wanting to show cock to kids right like even if it's an allegation it's like hey this is kind of going on just Maybe be aware of it, and he's been fired. Like it's still, yeah, it's still like news. You just call it an allegation. They do it all the time. So it's super weird that they didn't for this guy. He just got kind of axed from the entire company, like no questions asked, and it was gone. Even on Twitter, like I think I saw like maybe one or two like news accounts like posting it and retweeting it around. Yeah. I mean, I I didn't I didn't like jump onto it because I didn't know how true it was. But like I downloaded those chat logs that the guy saved and sent, and like. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking damn. <laughs> like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, but I'm sure he's probably going to get away with it because of how the operation was conducted. And usually they always get like, he can afford like a pretty good lawyer to get him out of it. Plus it's also California. <clears throat> like, let's be real. Yeah. But yeah. What do you guys think of the game awards though? What are you excited to get winning? Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Let's go. The most ingenuitive <laughs> story. The way they recreated a, an existing thing into a completely new thing. That was sick. I don't think you can be a host anymore with that kind of a fucking take, man. That's I, I can't support a yeah. Pokemon defense on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon is one of those interesting game franchises where, like, it's like, I think it's probably the most profitable one, right? Like, yeah. next to Grand Theft Auto, you know, Moneymaker and NBA slot casinos. <laughs> but, like... Dude, it's like even like NBA or GTA puts like way more fucking effort into their IP than fucking Pokemon ever. Nice. Game Freak is just truly talentless. They just go in every couple of years to hit copy and paste and then still leave things out for no reason. It's baffling. It's absolutely baffling. I don't know, for best indie game, Charlie, I'm going to be voting for Rubet. 
<laughs> Stop it. Oh, man. I'm surprised I walked away with that without getting a lawsuit, man. I'm honestly, like, really freaked out that it, that I ever actually survived the whole, like, gambling coverage without any issue on my end. I don't know. They got away with it. They, 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 those people always get away with it, the cryptosphere. They always get a, They always... They always do their scam and run away. Like right now, Jake Paul did a stick dick <laughs> scam and well, allegedly it's a scam, but like stick dicks. What I don't know that? if you guys were following. It's an NFT, yeah, but it's like is. stick figures with like different like dicks. genitalia. Yeah, dicks. Oh, that's exactly. fucking lit. <laughs> Sounds Yo, genius. They should launch it this that's day. a scam. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's totally, like totally one hundred percent legit. You shouldn't mint some of those. <laughs> You can't even do NFT stuff as a meme because it's just, it's such a trash market to get into. So since we talked about Game Freak, do you guys know the other Game Freak games that they ever uh, made that are non Pokemon no. related? No. You guys have no, oh my God. Okay. I what think about I watched games a like, video on this. What about games like Tembo, the badass elephant boys? That's a pretty <laughs> good game. I think I saw a video on that. It was released for... Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One 2015. So they've been developing games for other things besides Pokemon. Now, it is it is kind of shitty. Like, maybe half-ass. It's, it's some side-scroller game. What about uh, Smart Ball? No. No, I, no that sounds like oh, shit. That's, yeah, that one, yeah, that's it, a it, shitty it name. Defi it definitely sounds like shit, for sure. Smart what Ball. About I feel like Pulse every Man. single one of their games that isn't Pokemon is just like a sexual innuendo somehow. <laughs> just... Yeah, Pulse, Pulse Man, Man Smart Shit. Ball, Drill Dozer, apparently. <laughs> Pulse Ball. But it's like they don't have to work or anything because their fans will just buy Pokemon games. I was just looking into the Stick Dicks thing, not to get a little sidetracked, but Jesus Christ, why do people actually do this shit, man? Like, people actually bought into that whole Stick Dicks. Yeah, that'd be crazy if someone did that. I, I think I realized, though, because lately when I was meeting up with some friends a week ago, they were about NFTs. Like, they were full cock and balls into NFTs, and they were just, like, normal people, no idea. They thought it was, like, the best investments ever. Well, bro, I don't know if you NFTs heard, but you like... can't 10x real estate like you could 10x NFTs, man. Stick Dicks looks like a fucking Newgrounds game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks exactly like what I'm thinking. I could have made all these. Only available on <laughs> minikip.com. Well, I mean, we can we can screen share this, so let me, let me, let's walk through a little screen screen share action hold on can you screen can share somebody... stick dicks do you think that's gonna be yeah a somebody somebody can screen <laughs> share <laughs> you can't screenshot it they're not animated enough right like some well let's look at some of these okay like we're on the open sea page right guys we can we can look at stick dicks together I i'm think. looking at their, well, their white page. paper right now stick dicks white paper oh god I... i'm verifying the legitimacy it's, it's on the same tier as the squid game coins game the squid <laughs> coin nonsense people how do people invest in squid game token oh it's god. going up and down like five Why? times now yeah. it's crazy wait squid token squid yeah. Game coin? yeah it's Can been like even... they've rugged it like four times yeah they just keep rugging it, it and people for some reason just keep thinking that they're out now Genius. like oh, now that they're gone we've taken control geniuses oh my god you guys are right holy yeah. fuck yeah, it insane. goes from like that is insane yeah, no, i never bought any of that either <laughs> I mean, I'm I, I'm glad you did. It. Jesus. I didn't. I didn't. I, didn't. I was like alluding sarcastically, but I didn't actually. I mean, when I saw this token, I was like, I I literally when you see the website, which was taken down, like as soon as it went up, I'm like, people actually fell for this. Fools. Like, and and like, luckily, I had the archive of this website, so I could record it tomorrow. But like, they started just like nuking everything, like with it as soon as it launched. And I'm like, dude, people fell for this crypto nonsense, and it is what it is. And it's not stopping. Like, it's just, it, every week there's some new stick tick project, or there's some new squid coin project, and it's it's done. Like, it it siphons cash out of anybody. How about this, guys? Can't beat them. Join them. Let's just join in. Let's just start doing Some it ourselves. Some ordinary crypto coming what soon. Do you think? If, who knows? What do you think, guys? Oh, no. I, <laughs> if we bro, teamed up. I think if if there was a chance, you just go completely undercover and come up with some stupid, like, <laughs> bored ape concept. People buy it for no reason. I So I saw yeah. Gary, uh, Gary V. He's like, he, he made a tweet. I think it was today. He's like, is there any... Any kids under the I age of 11 that. who want oh some my NFTs God. minted? Yeah. And then it's just a bunch of, like, old dudes that are like, oh, my 12-year-old made these old <laughs> ape clones. I'm so proud of her. I would love if you bought some of these, Gary V, when it's clearly, like, his work. <laughs> <laughs> he drew with crayon. Yeah. It's Man, so uh, that, that tweet almost sounds like he's 
going off on the child labor ban. That's like, it's like I mean, any kids. If you read the tweet, I feel like it's. Uh, I feel like he didn't quite do it. How weird it is, justice, Charlie. I, it's a weird tweet. I read it and was Wait, like, "Let me, let me, let me read this tweet." Yeah. I, I don't know what the fuck. Gary V. Twitter. Like, let me see this. So if you look really closely, you can see him wearing a PlayStation T-shirt. <laughs> Dude, stop. He's repping the PS5. God, I can't, I can't even. I can't even like. Uh, he's just he keep, he's one of those like tweet bots. I can't find it. Well, give me give me like a name on it. Like Gary what, what's the Vaynerchuk. Text on it? His name is Wienerchuk. Uh, okay. Vaynerchuk, v- dude. Vaynerchuk. I don't. I can't stand him. I see him on TikTok all the time, and he talks really fast, and he's like really annoying, and then he's just like fucking all over the place, and it just bothers me. I want to just turn my phone off. Well, is he like one of those like super rich investor types on TikTok? He is. Yeah. I think he made all of his money through like buying stupid. Yeah, I found shit. it. If you're an yeah, under 13 year old it. artist in <laughs> NFT, <laughs> can you reply with your project XOXO? XOXO, yeah, that's the weird part. XOXO. Kisses and hugs. Yeah. Hey, kids, kisses and hugs, kids. Kisses and hugs. Kisses and hugs. Now give me your NFT so we can profit yeah. off it. Yeah. Oh, dude, <laughs> this is so bad. I, yeah. just thought, I just scrolled into it. Boss Beauties NFT. I wish I'm 13. Oh, <laughs> it's a guy no. with the Discord. <laughs> There's some guy with the Discord link, dude. I am 14. Oh no, dude, it's it's like every joke combined into one right now. Hey Gary, you shouldn't, Gary. We can do it. We can, we can, we can become NFT god. But like, here's yeah. the thing: what kind of NFT project would work? Because I think Goatsy, I think, I think like a Goatsy style project mm-hmm. would work. You know, different, different stretched. Ass, so. oh, yeah, okay. yeah, different stretched. You know. Yeah. Because you can do a lot of permutations with that too, right? Like you can, because that's the whole idea about NFTs, right? They have to be like, like different, like massively gaped, slightly gaped, you right. know, ungaped, right? But it has to have other cool yeah, accessories, like, like one of them Care. smoking See, a cigarette. Yeah, like prolapse. hemorrhoids as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Large drooling hemorrhoids. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like we're joking, but like if, if tonight, okay, all of us sat down and we like paid someone on Fiverr to just draw yeah, all these stretched, you know, goatsies for us. Like, how much would it cost usually? Like on Fiverr, we could just a hundred bucks. I well, think, I don't right? Think the like, just problem. I think that I can them into NFTs is a pain in the ass. Yeah, the actual, that's like, the more expensive the thing. End, well, yeah. we have MS Paint, right? We all can. We're all men. We can MS Paint oh, these together. Oh, we could just make Keemstar thumbnail well, NFTs. We could collaborate. <laughs> I, I always love the Keemstar thumbnails. I'll never, I'll never like lose it. He has the best thumbnails on YouTube. Like. It's just, it's like, I think after me and Charlie, who give no fucks about thumbnails, I know Charlie just like literally will upload a video and it's like, oh, that looked cool out of the YouTube three. <laughs> Go with that. <laughs> <laughs> and I do the same thing. Cause sometimes I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's a good face. We'll just go with that one. Shit. It saves me like five minutes of going into premiere and stretching out my face. Who cares? But like Keemstar, it's like, he, he like. Just MS Paint. He has like an MS Paint system. I'm pretty sure, like set up and ready to go. Like some some like standard I thumbnail love file. How he could never spell some the word characters. scammed. He put scammed in all of his thumbnails with like one M in it. But to be fair, he has what dyslexia? Come on, that's rude. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, owe him. He's neurodivergent, saw... though. <laughs> that's, that's fucked up. That's but I didn't say that. You did. But... Hey, that's like a nice that's... thing, isn't it? That's like the proper like if you're ADHD, you're neurodivergent. Isn't that like a no? You're 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 trying to use that anti-cancel terminology, dude. This well, is I was using it as problem. a joke. <laughs> this is the same problem. I can't even use that kind of <laughs> stuff as a joke. You know how much? You know how much in my old backlog? Oh, by the way, all of us, we all have a. I know Charlie has enough videos in his backlog where you can like dig through, and we're dropping R words like no tomorrow. You know how fucking stressful it is when somebody digs out a link. Sends it to me and it's like, can you explain your usage of the word? I'm like, yeah, it was 2013. I didn't know any different. You know, do you see me doing it now? I mean, come on. But I don't know. It's it's weird using different words and terminologies and stuff, especially when your intent is still the same. Weirds me out. Like, if I switch the word, but I'm still being a dick about it, does that make it better? <laughs> like, yeah. What does that it mean? Doesn't. It still means the same exact thing. Exactly. Yeah, I look at this Gary V thing, man. This is this is a rabbit hole. I definitely want to go down into. I think the more I scroll, the more I realize like no NFT art has ever actually looked good. Yeah, I completely agree with that. The NFT art is some of the laziest, worst shit ever, and it's super weird that people want it so badly with like board apes because they just say, "Yeah, an AI did it." They just randomize some shit. It's like fuck. Anyone can do that. You know, you know, if you guys follow the art flow AI, do you know about that? Yes, Charlie? dude. I've been, I've been uh, typing all sorts of crazy oh. shit in there. Oh, you, okay. So art flow AI, for those of you guys who don't know, 
if you go to the site right now, rflow.ai, you can type in whatever. Like I can type in Chinese Penguin Zero, and in like 14 minutes, it's going to give me a Chinese version of Charlie. Dude, but you literally, like you can type in like Bob Ross, like this guy has Bob Ross and Mr. Rogers combined. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Like we can do Nux face reveal. Oh, damn. Actually give us your face. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> It'd be hilarious. But this is, the, you're right. The AI like Bored Ape stuff. That I don't understand. And to be real with you, I got I think that it, most of it is just like an elaborate money laundering plot. The most I mean, I've ever looked into. I, that it. would be my best guess too. If if you're trying to cash out a lot of money, you could claim it's an art sale. And you know. Yeah, isn't that what modern art is anyways? Like a like a solid percentage of it is just like yeah, a front. Yeah, because because you have people sometimes and they'll like they'll buy like a piece for fifteen million dollars. But that's just because what they speculate the piece at, and then they'll like it, it counts as a sale, and they can just shift money around. Actually, in a lot of ways, it's used to like shift money internationally. So I think in China they have like a limit on how much cash you can bring out of the country, right? So what a lot of the Chinese nationals do is I think they like they get like re- those like no limit credit cards, mm-hmm. and they just buy art in like the United States, and all of a sudden like they just bought like a 30 million dollar asset in another country. They didn't technically transfer the money yet out of the country, you know. Right. So they, they just paid off their card. So it's it's a it's a weird situation you get into, but it's like you look at these NFTs and it's like if you buy a board ape right now for $100,000, you're not going to be able to sell that unless you go to another idiot into spending 100 grand or 120 yeah. or something. Really it's what's the investment scheme. worth? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> it is. Like, have you guys, has anybody here bought nope. an NFT? Like, be no. honest. Okay, I'm not. Fuck, no. Nope. No, I've not. <laughs> I've screenshotted a few. Oh, daring. But... <laughs> well, I didn't say did that. Edit the... that out. Did you see the guy who got mad at the screenshot? He's like, you can't <laughs> yeah. do that. It's my property. Yeah. It's illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. Oh, no, fuck anybody on the NFT grind that's like this hardcore into it. I'm Look, it's, it's, they make it sound like it's a fucking weird ass cult, to be honest. Like, I just. You you jump into this entire world of crypto, and it's just a bunch of people who are trying to like go to other rich people into making dumb financial decisions so they can profit off it. It's Turns just that they all live across the street from Umpy's land. <laughs> Maybe just like Tuscan Raiders. NFTs. No joke though. I live in a very rural community, and like there's just down the street, there is a a whole giant warehouse, like one of the biggest warehouses, just got bought by a Chinese national to mine Bitcoin, which is like. Like, people don't even know what Bitcoin is here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. You're it's not like, that <laughs> rural, bro. Your course been rural, broken man. into more than one. It's Come rural. On. It's rural. The, my town has like maybe maybe fifteen thousand people in it. Maybe. Do you have a Walmart in your town? Yeah. Okay, you're not that rural. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. not that bad. That's not like. <laughs> there's no Target though, rural. guys. There's no Target. There's no Target Ooh. though. What about a Dairy Queen? You have a Dairy Queen? The, the, every town in Texas has a Dairy Queen. Yeah, right? fucking Steve. Yeah, rule my ass. Everyone, yeah. everywhere in Texas. And then he's he's gonna queen. be like, yeah, I have a I have a McDonald's. I also got a Tesla dealership too. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you. There's a McDonald's. There's a, there's a Sonic. There's a Sonic. Oh, there's a Sonic. Oh man, I haven't had Sonic in forever, dude. There's a Whataburger. Yeah, but that's a Texas staple. I love Whataburger. Get out of here so with good. that. Oh, it's so good. What about that Chick Fil A? There's no Chick Fil A. There's no Chick-fil-A in your Texas? Okay, you're no, really sure. fucking rural then. I'm no, sorry. Sure. We have a Chick-fil-A here in Toronto, and we had a protest the day it opened. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a whole protest Interesting. in front of it. Well, because Toronto's a very left-leaning city, and like, oh, okay. Chick-fil-A is a very right-wing-leaning product, I guess, from what I know. Hmm. And like they were just like protesting the fucking Chick Fil A as soon as it opened. Like it was just it was it was it was anger is what I know. But I didn't know from what I was heard, political. The, well, listen, okay, it's the Chick Fil A. They're the ones that don't open on Sundays, right? So you can't get yeah, good Chick Fil A on a fucking Sunday. That's enough reason to be to... mad right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like how dare you shut off this fast food establishment on a Sunday? I'm hungry. <laughs> open. That is true. That is very very man. I can't stop looking at stick dicks, man. I'm gonna buy one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna. Yo, I'm gonna actually buy one, one of though. these right now. No, no, I'm buying the erect one with a gun. <laughs> Yo, that's basically just a caricature of Umpaville. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're only twenty dollars. It's not a bad deal. I'll buy one right now. You want to buy one? Sure, I'll buy one. How do you buy it? How do you do this? 
I've never They're bought on, one. They're on open sea. You can just <laughs> buy them right now. This big daddy Mase is gonna sell me a stick dicks number 3040. It's got an Xbox controller, a, a beanie on, some sunglasses, and a smile. Yo, you're gonna make a hundred grand right on now. this. No. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna flip this shit for like 80 bucks once this episode goes up. <laughs> yeah, wait, could you could you imagine though? It's like if I just bought all of these right now, like 50 stick dicks. How do you and like this episode goes up and it's just like I made four million dollars <laughs> in a week. <laughs> I just found a culturally Look insensitive this game one. You swore to destroy. Well, this is the, this, dude. Jake Paul is behind this. You know it's gonna get fucking blown up. So I don't think <laughs> so, man. Like there's like a no, bunch of not. kids that were talking about it on Twitter for sure. But I feel like just no one actually buys that kind of shit. But I could be wrong. No it's one, no one bucks. buys it. But they they give a. I think they I think they give like forty fifty thousand just to like for you to tweet it out. It's kind of insane. Like I remember when I was the when we were looking at like the save the kids, and you know like Sam Pepper's Twitter, right? It's it's not exactly the most healthiest Twitter account. Mm -hmm. You know, like maybe a mm -hmm. like or two every once in a while. But like, <laughs> I asked one of the guys, I'm like, how much do you pay for a tweet that has like maybe a like or two? And they're like, yeah, we pay like four or five thousand dollars. Oh, like sometimes fifteen. Shit. I was like, fifteen grand for that? I'm like, could you imagine if like fucking any of us tweeted something out? Like, guys, go buy some no, stick tickets. We'd be fucking buying a yacht or something. On this. That man. That man he follows, follows everyone on I love Twitter. That guy. <laughs> He's my favorite. I love him just because like every time I see clips of him speaking in Chinese, they it's just, goofy, like, man. Subtitle it. they yeah, just subtitle my it, family. Like... They have been captured. <laughs> Logan Ma. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, poor John C. Poor yeah. He's a goofy oh, bastard. I, I don't know. I was watching the new movie, like, the Fast and the Furious. Like, I'm a huge Fast and the Furious fan. You know, it's, I just want to get that out there, make fun of me, whatever. I just think those movies are amazing. And I saw the most recent one with John Cena in it, and I was like, man, this guy <laughs> did not give a fuck about acting in this movie whatsoever. <laughs> I thought no he gave an dude. inspired performance. Uh, I thought he was doing great. that's coming great. from an he elbow like, from the Hunger Games, so... That's right. I can recognize acting talent when I see it. John Cena, he put it all on the line <laughs> right there. He finally broke out of his comfort zone. Jesus, man. No, dude, it's... How do you write him in as the brother for no reason? It's like the writers gave no shit about that movie. What? No continuity, no nothing. I Trust me, I treated that movie like I treated Terminator Genesis. Like, I just peered through every detail, and I was like, it does not make sense with the prior lore of Fast and the Furious. None of it's out there. It's just... It's a weird movie, man. It's... I don't know where they're going to go from now. They already hit space, so maybe they're going to hit the metaverse next. I have no clue, but it's going to be a fun ride. I'm trying to buy me a stick dicks right now. Don't do it. I I've already given up. Don't do it. Okay, I shouldn't. Actually, wait, Charlie. I think you're. I think. I think you got to look at the amount of volume traded. What the fuck? Is it? Is it actually popping off? It's like 28 Ethereum in the last 90 days. That's, That's how much is bit. that to USD? If somebody is like profiting off of it, because some of these coins. Well, the, well, there's actually something really funny about these. Yeah, I think it's 120. No, yeah, it's no, it's more than 120. Grand. No, it's 120, right? But like the thing about some of these is like when you're doing these scams, sometimes you'll buy the the liquidity pool, and so like let's say some let's say there's like a hundred million dollars worth of transactions that day, gross amount, and they're only making like one or two percent of that per day. That's a fucking hustle right there. <laughs> like that's. That that's how that's how the new scam is going. So they're not like ruck pulling; they're just like liquidity leaching. I guess is the best way to put it. But I don't know how they're gonna reach it, man. It's wacky that there's like no accountability for any of this stuff. Like no matter how many times you call people out, like it really doesn't affect them at all. There's no regulation. I know that they're. I know on YouTube they're coming out with a pipeline to like clamp down on anybody talking about this. But I don't know when that's gonna happen because like all the channels that like. If you go on, like, YouTube and just type in, like, crypto, it's literally just a bunch of people who are, like, fucking closet investors, and they're like, all right, boys, Dogecoin is going to go, like, to 900 million in, like, the next day. <laughs> yeah. And never then you'll have one guy it. that's actually right, and everyone will say, he was a prophet! He knew all along! Oh, dude. that This is the thing that I've learned, though. It's like, anytime somebody sells you a course on investing, they're a shitty investor. That's all I know. Because, yeah. like... If you have to sell somebody a program to succeed in investing, you're just – that's where you're making your fucking money, obviously. You don't give a shit about – like if you were making millions of dollars a day on the market, I don't think you'd be telling anybody your secret, okay? Like 
<laughs> and it's also not that easy too, right? Like, I mean, people who act like you can 200 times an investment, like that's just luck. Like those investments usually take like years upon years, like long term to ever happen. But we live in a time where like these people are just okay with profiting off of individuals that are most likely bereaved of any financial assets, you know, like pandemics already hit people need to make money for rent the next week or whatever. So they just jump onto these trends. And that's, I think that answers the question is why some people choose to jump down scams, right? Like me and you can probably like laugh at this, but like for somebody who needs the rent money next week, this might be, you know, the ticket, yeah, it looks the like golden a ticket, slightly right? more reliable lottery. Yeah, exactly. It's like, do you go to the gas station and just fucking get the worst odds on the Powerball, or do you take your chance with stick dicks? Squid coin. <laughs> oh, That's dude, where dude, I'm putting know. all my bags. Yeah. Uh, it's going Ever, to yeah. the squid game bags. Charlie, Ever since you, that Mr. Beast video. <laughs> Yo, do you know that Mr. Beast video has more like, views than the actual Squid Game show got on Netflix? It's yeah. nuts. Yes. Really? It's That's insane. what they say, but I mean... Yeah, but is it no? But that's because it's free, dude. He got fucking roasted oh, by the yeah. media dude, for that. Dude, he yeah, became the villain of Squid Game. It. The whole idea is the rich asshole putting up the elaborate games for people's amusement. <laughs> he literally he became yeah, but like, the villain. <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't like that's the thing. That's the weird critique that I always found. It's like he wasn't like killing right. people. Like He's the not show. doing. He also paid he was... every single person who participated, even when they lost. They each got two grand just for being there. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Every was... single Damn. participant got paid just to go. No, it's it's so weird that people vilify I, it just feels like him. A I feel fun like time. the media, like mainstream media, is trying to vilify you know personalities online. That's been like their long-term goal. Dude, if he can't win, no one's gonna win. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a nice guy. But what do you mean, like it's a long-term goal? You think that they're just gonna keep going they, until like, been, none well, of Well, I don't think they're actually gonna affect anyone. But they've been trying forever. Like back in the PewDiePie days, like when they tried to cancel mm. him, I think it was the exact same thing. They just realized that PewDiePie makes Pew news and it gets more views than CNN, and they were like, "Okay, dude, we got to put a stop to this." To be fair, PewDiePie was also caught on a bridge okay, screaming right. some gamer words. <laughs> but he was yeah. like, that. Come on, I will always mark that PewDiePie bridge moment as one of the fucking dumbest things I've ever seen on the internet. Like how you can just go ahead. I have to agree. Yeah, like I, I remember when I like saw that and somebody asked me in stream, and it's like, Muda, what do you think about PewDiePie? Do you think he's getting canceled unjustly?" I'm like. All I know is I wouldn't be caught in PUBG <laughs> screaming that as my first word during a gunfight. And I played a lot of PUBG, let me tell you. Fuck. Also streaming as well. But yeah, you think it's if live. you're streaming, you like I mean when I'm streaming I have to like tone down the, you know, jokes all the time, but still I don't know. It's it's it I, I guess maybe it's like if you stream, I'm not like a streamer streamer. I'm sure Charlie can answer this because you're like, you're like a daily Twitch streamer, right? Like at this point, mm -hmm. how hard is it to like fucking filter yourself <laughs> on stream? I don't, it's not hard. You just talk yeah. about whatever you want. I, I don't usually say anything too dangerous, I guess. Well, I, I mean, also like you, oh, you shit. talk in metaphor. You don't <laughs> like the words you you know, Newton teaches us uh, what happens when an unstoppable force hits an immovable object, except this time the unstoppable force is a septic tank, and the immovable object is also a septic tank. Like, that, you know. I feel like that's a quote. You just, like, pulled that out of yeah, your ass pretty so yeah, fast. Yeah, that was pretty smooth. Damn. That was really it's good. known as the vector of feces. <laughs> <laughs> the vector of <laughs> Do you guys see how Ludwig got, like, fucking banned? Yeah, Yo, that was the funniest thing. few times, oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> no, you know, it wouldn't be as funny if he wouldn't, in his trailer for joining YouTube streaming, he starts up as saying, you know, yeah. I can play music in this car, not in this car. You know, like, no issue in this car, the YouTube car. We don't get DNC eight here. Dude, when I, when I saw that, like, so being the, I guess, one of the, like, the few people in the world that are actually, like, a YouTube streamer primarily... Fucking when I saw him get taken out, everyone was like, he got banned. I'm like, no, he just played a fucking he played Coco Melon or something yeah. on stream and it was like removed for because they, they don't ban you. It's just like as soon as you like stop viewing it, it throws your stream back up in front of everyone. But I'm like, I wonder if they're gonna do you think they're gonna change that just for like Ludwig and like people that they're buying over because React content's pretty strong on it's Twitch. It's the meta like, that's on kinda Twitch. Yeah, it's one of the main things I see. I feel like they kind of have to. Well, I know that uh, I streamed on YouTube at one up. point, and I was like looking at clips that like anime clips that people sent me on Twitter, and my stream got taken down <laughs> midstream. And I was like, okay, I'm going to Twitch. 
It's the Wild West out there. I was trying to watch ghost hunting videos, and they fucking took me down Wait, for some what? reason. Cause, <laughs> yeah, I was trying to watch, like, ghost hunting videos. It was like, it was. I think it was like a BuzzFeed or like an A&E show or something, and it was like, mm -hmm. guys, I'm getting a feeling in this place, all right? There's a warm patch of water running down my leg. Uh-oh, it might be a ghost. <laughs> I'm incontinent. <laughs> I don't know, they took it down. Look. At one point, we're going to have to go ghost hunting. And I mean, all four <laughs> of us are going to have to go ghost oh, hunting. I love oh. that kind of shit. I would Dude. love to. Goatman's Bridge is in Denton, Texas, which oh. ain't too far away. All right. You know Goatman's Goat Man, Bridge. you are rural. Oh. Goatman. Uh, and then and then from where I'm from uh, in West Virginia, it's like an hour away from where the Mothman lives. All right. Oh. And I can translate <laughs> for you guys. I can translate the native oh, tongue. Oh, let's go. Okay. What's the native tongue? I ain't going to my car. Mothman up here. Oh, you're such a <laughs> dick. Not everyone from West Virginia sounds like Okay. All right. Hey, I, I almost lived in West Virginia. They all sound like that from where I lived, okay? You can say that about, like, where, like, it's Ohio, basically. But in, in eastern West Virginia, the roads, as soon as you cross into the West Virginia line, it, they turn into fucking dirt yeah. trails. I'm not even joking. It's not a civilized eastern country. West it's Virginia. not. It's not. It's eastern terrifying. West That's why they call this place <laughs> Mountain Mama. Yeah, it's terrifying up there. Up there in Yellow Brick. That part of the U.S. is so cute, though, like when it does turn into dirt trails. Like, have you ever, like, turned on your radio in your car when you're driving through places like that? Some people will hijack the fucking radio streams and just oh, broadcast yeah. weird shit on them. Dude, <laughs> uh, in uh, in the late 90s, they, they hijacked mount weathers which it mount so like i used to live in northern virginia and west virginia is 30 minutes away and then like the dc is an hour away so it's like a very weird mix of rednecks and government people and mount weather is between all that and that's where like the president goes to hide if there's like a bomb or whatever um in the 90s they hijacked that the emergency alert signal and said that there was a fucking oh zombie apocalypse Holy oh shit. it was amazing what? yeah Crazy. No, no, you gotta elaborate. Right. What the? What do you mean? Uh, well, I, that's, this is this is from like uh, like all the the brass that my my parents know that they they told us about the story. So I'm sure you could verify it online. Let's see. No, well known that parents never exaggerate when telling stories to broadcast. their children. Yeah, they're like, don't worry, son. Back in my day, Let's we see. used to have the war you of the world. Sleep <laughs> on time. Santa's gonna cut your toes off. <laughs> what what story are we gonna embellish to our kids one day? I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> What is the life event we're going to embellish to them is sort of what I think. Probably NFT related or some <laughs> shit. I'm the one that made Bored Apes. I'm Satoshi's wallet. <laughs> you can you can just like one day when you're like 80, Charlie, you can just like tell your great grandkids. It's like, come here, son. Let me tell you the beautiful story of Stick Dicks. <laughs> I was the man that minted it. I went on this podcast and learned about Stick Dicks and that's when I knew. <laughs> that's how I amassed $500 million. <laughs> You know, man, we make fun of this shit, but, like, around us, all these guys were making millions and shit, just, like, off the NFT grind. And they're never gonna get, like, busted. It's like, oh, unless, I guess, not. the IRS... Unless the IRS gives a shit, which, at that point, you know, who knows? <laughs> I mean, that's what I said to anybody, like, in this entire sphere, because it's, like... Every time I ask him, I'm like, so what do you do with your money? Do you, like, put it in your bank account? It's like, nah, dude, fuck U.S. dollar. I never transact in my bank account. I'm like, ah... <laughs> You just don't want the IRS knowing, I guess. Or, but but you always ask them, like, so how do you pay for your with mortgage? Dicks. And it's like, with, do you pay with stick? Yeah, do you pay with the stick dicks? Do you just like send it to your bank? It's like, I will trade you one stick dick <laughs> for one payment on my house. You got the down payment? Here, here's this picture. I got well, this. I just stick got like 3024, baby. He's smiling. Yeah. And it's and like, here's a hard. crypto punk, guys. <laughs> You go to your bank and just give them a crypto punk, and they're like, "Here's your mansion, just pay for it." Like, go ahead, pay back the IRS for all your tax evasion and fraud. It's a weird currency to, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You give you give the IRS and they'll fucking they'll take they'll take that hey, as if evidence. NFTs I'm pretty sure. are taxable, but it's like, then NFTs should be able to pay for taxes, right? If it counts as making they money, screenshot them. If then you should be able to pay with them. <laughs> Look, man, you're getting too complicated over here. All right, we're just trying to like make millions off of stick dicks. You're trying to like up like up chuck the entire like <laughs> IRS system. Yeah. Mm -mm, it's not yeah, happening. What are you dude. talking about? Well, nobody wants it. Well, none of these guys want any regulation for it because if oh, it obviously. happens, they'd be fucking removed. <laughs> So what is, what is the follow up on this alien abduction or like the so zombie oh, apocalypse? Zombie apocalypse. Um, I found an article from 2013 where the same thing happened in in uh, 
in Montana, but I can't find anything about specifically Mount Weather. But I'll have to, I'll have to find it. So it's it's just people like fucking man. Isn't that like illegal though? Isn't yeah. it illegal to hijack? I mean, to a radio fucking- yeah. Well, it's- in a town like that, they're not going to be able to track them. What are they going to use? Like a magnifying glass <laughs> and look for footprints? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, it's a wild west up there, dude. Describing the crazy. plot of Stranger Things right now. Yeah, basically. Yeah, season three, pretty much. Can, can we? Can I just fly down to Texas and do that with you in your town? Yeah, I'll set it just up. Like reenact the war. Let's the roll world. it back. They'll never find us. I'll set it back. I'll set it up, man. Well, I, I guess we kind of just exposed ourselves with intent to hijack. <laughs> Sorry, FBI. Cut that out. We're, we're not out there to hijack your precious radio streams. That shouldn't happen. I just, I, I, I just looked at Game Freak's list of games again, guys. You got to bring up something because I'm getting a little sad looking at fucking Giga Wrecker for the seventh time. I typed in something for Art Flow. I really want to see how this does. This is pretty cool. It's taken, it's taken time to cook, man. What did you type in? I just did Melting Night. Ooh. I did Nux Face Reveal. Ah! <laughs> I just typed in my happen. full name. <laughs> of course. I typed in my social security number. <laughs> my full name, my address, my social security number. <laughs> let me check where let me check where this fucking site is hosted. I just can not actually do that. Oh. I mean, I, I'll do it. I'll do it if you do it. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I'll do it too. That'd be hilarious. I don't care. I'll give them my social information. I'm sure it's already doxed anyways. Who cares? Steal my identity. I'll fucking I'll make a video about it. I'll be alright. <laughs> you know. time art flow me. AIs. <laughs> Art flow AI stole my identity. Well, you know, the best part about YouTube now is there's no negativity anymore, guys. They've completely removed any and all options for negativity. That's because yeah, everyone's no given the correct takes now, so only yep. only people agree. Well, I was watching this trailer for Santa Inc., Charlie, mm-hmm. and it's loved by everyone. No 100% dislikes, like no to dislike ratio, mm-hmm. I hear. They even turned the comments off because it was so I heard about positive. That. I heard about that, yeah. I heard uh, Seth Rogen has, uh, he's been just so proud of that on twitter you know especially you know we might we all might get dms from him actually later i think so yeah i think so i'll send him a video of me laughing like him (laughs) see what he thinks Well, you know what he does, right? He like he legit like sends like DMs telling you to go fuck yourself if you're like <laughs> I've seen those. If yeah, you he's criticize, yeah. him. he's such a dick. Bro. <laughs> well, do you ever see every time he like tweets it, and then like everyone takes their response back to him, and they clap back, and they yeah. just tweet it under his tweet, and it's like I assure you, Seth, it wasn't as fun for you as it was for me. <laughs> like, dude. Oh. I don't know, man. Seth, Seth, Seth is a fun guy. I, I want, I want to like at least speak to him one day and just understand the mind when it's not consumed by marijuana. That's I just, his whole like, personality. Feel, yeah, it is. Yeah. No, it is vases. Guy, come on. He makes vases too. They're pretty shitty though. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. You're the one defending him. <laughs> no, no. I'll, look, I'll, I'll defend him on a bunch of, but those vase pictures look like dog shit. I'll be completely honest. You're right. I agree. They look like shit. Dude, 9.2. Well, like, hey, just go on to it. And it's like, he made this orb thing. It's, yeah, his Twitter account is weird. He's selling like a flip top lighter, which, man, you guys are right. Weed really is his identity. It Holy is. fuck. Yes. Well, I mean, g- good for him, man. I hope, I hope he does well with this show, dude, with the uh, Santa Inc. or whatever the hell it is. I mean, it's, you know, it, it is what it is. It's one. It's like every time you go on Netflix, there's always like, or any premium service, there's always like one or two shows that are just out there to be the lightning rods for everyone. Yeah. And they can release 10 or 20 other shitty shows that no one cares about. Well, Netflix like did really Tiger well King this too. year. Like, they actually killed it. I think Squid, Squid Game, Game Arcane. Yeah. Like, they had a lot of bangers. Yeah. Ooh, Arcane Man, was they, real good. JoJo's Part I Six. Watch Arcane. I, I'm actually catching up. I'm on Part Five. It's pretty good. Let's go. Part five's not Who's bad. the JoJo hater? Wait, what? What happened? Wait, what JoJo? Oh. I thought I thought like I th- wait, what? What about JoJo? The JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part Six. Yeah, it's Netflix now. Netflix, baby. It's it's their exclusive. Yeah. Oh. Well, hmm. I mean, I've, they yoink the whole series. I've seen one episode of JoJo, and I just could never really get into it. Like I Same. saw the introduction episode and i was like i don't get it like hugbees was telling me a lot hugbees was telling me about it yeah it's confusing apparently hugbees is like the episode one is castlevania or like episode two is like some other fucking show (laughs) i "I can't do it (laughs) no 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 you don't understand but you see charlie was a staunch jojo hater of only part three and four i like i have always said i like parts one and two okay but part five which you're currently in middle of yeah that's good i'm enjoying part five 
That's much better. I saw that. I saw Charlie's like anime review like tier list, which is a fucking hour long, by the way. Like you're just sitting there reviewing your <laughs> anime list, and it's like the top comment was like Charlie's like that bridge between normie anime viewer and like expert anime viewer. I don't know. Charlie had like one thing on his list: Casher and Sins, which he rated like a nine I or a ten, show. and I never heard of it. And I hated it. I think it, you, I, I watched like ten episodes. Of you it. just didn't get it. It's it's a it's a thinking man's <laughs> yeah. anime. It's oh, so get that don't don't, I get that don't do that. Don't do that fucking Rick and Morty shit. <laughs> it's just for the intelligent viewers, honestly. Yeah. To be fair, you need a very high IQ to understand Casher and Sins. He turns himself into a cucumber. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> you wouldn't get the references to the Fuck you. Did you guys know no. cucumbers are pickles? I did, I actually wow. recently learned that. Yeah, cucumbers. Did you really? Wait, you didn't know that? What? I didn't know that. They're just, I didn't okay. know that. You guys are they're you guys are fucking cucumbers. gaslighting me. No fucking way. Wait, are you kidding me? No, they're not. They're fruits. No, pickles. Pickles are just fermented cucumbers. They're just pickled cucumbers. Yeah. No, I feel like I'm gonna Google something. Are pickles cuc? Are pickles? I thought this, this was pub- I, I thought this was I, common knowledge. Yeah, me too. Pickles Dang. are cucumbers. Crunchy, sour, salty, and sweet. Pickles all start the same way as cucumbers. Cucumbers grow... Yeah, but like... Okay, I'm gonna it go sounds on... like a Dr. Seuss book. Fuck that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on... Uh, fuck you guys. I'm gonna go on Wikipedia and just look at what the classification <laughs> of this is. Just go, buy a jar of pickles and look at the ingredient. <laughs> You're t- Bro, but you that, the, that's you know what that? I'm the, saying! The one ingredient. <laughs> the only ingredient. <laughs> the only <laughs> rotten cucumbers. <laughs> Yeah, literally, it says it's Kingdom Plante. Okay, well, obviously, but like, what is it? Like, it's a cucumber. Wait, where do you think pickles come from? They don't come it's from a, garden it's water. It's a cylindrical bro. fruit, you dicks. I just read it. <laughs> Cucumbers is a widely cultivated creeping vine plant in the. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Yeah, that's a that, cucumber, not a pickle. Okay, but like you guys were saying, like cucumbers were pickles, right? That's why I was going. No, pickles cucumbers. are. Yeah, pickle, pickles a pickle, are pickle, are pickle. That's like saying cucumbers. like okay. hamburger is burger. Or whatever. <laughs> it it is, like, all right, not. okay. Well, at that point, I retract everything. I retract my stupidity <laughs> because you guys are right. Who fucking was arguing that it wasn't? <laughs> you. It was you, only you. You. No, but like you guys made it out like you just learned it. I, yes, I, I know just this. recently <laughs> learned that pickle was a cucumber. I always thought pickle was like a special forbidden like a, thing. Like it's like yeah, its own yeah. thing. Yo, I can Moda, see did that. You know that raisins are just dried out grapes. Go fuck yourself. Do you guys like raisins? No. No. Me neither. Oh. I've never met anyone who does. I've never met a person who likes raisins. I like raisin bran, but it's mainly just Same. because the raisins are kind of light in there. Yeah, yeah, I like I like raisin Dude, bran, but just eat eating raisin, raisin bran. That's so fucked. Wait, who eats raisins? Just plain raisins. Like, a sad, a lonely, fucked. Up Gary V does. I bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any thirteen-year-olds like a raisins? Please reply below. <laughs> Oh, so I think it's gonna be one of the tweets I'm gonna tattoo onto my body one day, just the Gary V tweet. <laughs> yeah. Any thirteen when people, year olds. When people want human history, I'll raise up my back. I'm like, this is what life was like in the twenty first century. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be one of those tweets that you like print out and get like a flag of it like on your gamer setup or something it's just like all right boys anybody got any nfts ready to go ready to mint and you are right like it's just literally fucking people pretending to be 14. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leah is my daughter and is 12 we did our project together sure you did <laughs> It's very sad, honestly. It's it's pretty it really upsetting is, yeah. stuff. Empress artistry I mean, is five, and this is of her NFTs. I don't know. If I had to tw- tattoo any tweet on my body, it would probably be ninjas. The phrase "It's just a game" is such a weak oh, mindset. Yeah. That's my favorite. What about tweet the of all time. the one with his his like wife is brawless or whatever? And she oh yeah, my sandwich. wife came down brawless. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> Playing lol. <laughs> That that is so probably weird. my favorite one tweet from him. Actually, <laughs> nin, nin, Ninja Ninja's a fun tweeter, dude. He That's is. why. <laughs> oh wait, wait, no, no. Didn't he also have a tweet saying like, "I don't understand how like NFL oh, players yeah. allow their kickers to miss kicks." Just, yeah, just hit your how kicks. How is that possible? <laughs> Yeah, just, just hit, hit him. Kicks, it's easy, I think. Man, that's just like, that's like the same tier of just head. don't get robbed. Do <laughs> <Yeah>. you guys <laughs> like see when Ninja was in Free Guy? Did you guys see yeah, that movie? He was How in many Free people Guy, were in Free Guy? Yeah. Wasn't there like a bunch of YouTubers? Like Pokemon was in yep, there. Yeah, Pokemon. Fucking Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye. Jack. Laser Beam. I heard they uh, they wanted Charlie, but they didn't. You know, yeah, they, didn't meet up to. They couldn't afford me for that movie. 
<laughs> how, did, how did Hunger Games even afford you, man? Like, I mean, that's a, I know it's a billion dollar franchise and all, but shit. They just got lucky I, with the timing. I was in college and I accepted the role. It's, they just got real lucky. Yeah. My my brother True. was a huge fan of that series, and like when I asked him, he told me it's like, yeah, Charles, uh, Charles. By the way, they had to like downplay his role just so he wouldn't Charles overshadow, oh, just so he wouldn't Jennifer overshadow Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Oh, Katniss Everdeen. Like, yeah, Katniss Everdeen was actually very shy during that scene. They had to like cut you out, just to, you know, you wouldn't overshadow the final <laughs> role, right? Yeah, it's like <laughs> that's so funny, dude. That's the first video I, I ever saw of yours, Charlie. Was the same here. Game video. Same here. Oh, that's fucking sweet. That that's still like one of my favorite moments like ever. Just such a stupid so event in my life. But when I saw that, it was like you know that when SpongeBob is pointing out, like that's where I am, guys. Yeah. See that point? <laughs> my parents. <laughs> Yes. No joke, my parents framed the magazine article where my hand is in the front and center. Like, oh, oh my god, this is, <laughs> this is incredible. That's Supportive, but like, but like, look where you are now. Now, now you're, now you're, you know, Charlie on on YouTube with the with the Moby Huges. It's, it's like, all on. thanks to the Hunger Games, baby. Yep. <laughs> Do, does anybody from like that era still talk to you about it though? Like, has somebody ever hit you up from that whole production? No, no. I I made a couple friends on set, but. Basically, when that stopped filming, we stopped being friends. You tell me Jennifer and Lawrence never asked you, and it's like, so we're filming the fifth movie in the series? Are you up? Or I you would down? have really expected her to at some point reach out and be like, you were just so good on set. I <laughs> was wondering if you <laughs> ever filming. needed a, another role I could help you get in. And yeah, we're filming I, the 17th movie of the trilogy, guys. I think one of my favorite Charlie videos is when, like, he told us that Riley Reed hated him. I was uh, like, what? Yeah. How did she hate that you? Too. How did, why, like, and then, and then it's like, you're making fun of her rap music. And then I listen to her rap music. I'm like, come on, this is just unfair. You're literally releasing cringe on the <laughs> <It's planet>. not <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, that's all. But then, I mean, like, you know, you, you made, you made beef with one of the best adult, like, stars in the industry, though. That is true. That was pretty special. She's very active online, it seems. Was it like, uh, finger banging to the fire of the flames was that 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 saga or was that a no that i i made so on oh. snapchat someone sent me like an edit of something they made of a woman fingering herself to through the fire and the flames i was like i'm gonna do that on vimeo so i did let's go so i just synced up a lady fingering herself to through the fire and the flames on vimeo yeah that's then, allowed on their tos no nah, they took it down eventually it used to well be. you should you should have used those other platforms dude you should have used like daily uh, motion fucking... Oh. Story fire, all that stuff. <laughs> yes, it probably would have popped off on Story oh, Fire. Story fire. <laughs> did you, do you guys ever? Do you guys ever see what happened to Story Fire though? I see the new no. CEO, bro. That guy Jackson and I joke about him a lot because every like every couple months we'll be like, just uh, just invested in Story Fire. Uh, it looks like they just promoted me to CEO when he like founded it five years ago, like publicly. He just keeps. Like, I almost bought Story Fire. Who did? Really. Yeah, I almost bought Storyfire. I almost bid for the NFT. Like, I was like, because I looked at the Storyfire thing, I'm like, 20 grand to buy this dumpster fire? Fuck, might not That's be a crazy. bad idea. And then it turns out, like, I got beaten up by fucking Dick Chair or whatever this fucking person was, this mystery dick. So that's how I didn't get Storyfire, boys. I lost the rights for that. I would have uploaded it on your platform. You know what I was going to do when I bought Storyfire? I was literally <laughs> just going to upload fucking cake farts. Like, I was going to re-upload cake farts Dude. onto the site. <laughs> That's one thing I do is show all the people who that I know that aren't on the internet. I just show them that video for some reason. I've been doing that for kick like farts? 10 years. Yeah, kick farts. That's such a good video. It's like, so good. The, the it's almost family she friendly. Gets, she gets, it's not. <laughs> almost being the keyword. <laughs> I remember like the best part about that video is like when she gets up and she's like, let's get this done. <laughs> like in just the yeah. most... It's like she's got to get shit going. She's got to do stuff, and it Full is what gas. it is. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's my favorite shock video. But then I, I haven't watched too many shock videos. Person, I've never seen uh, two girls, one cup. Me like, In the entirety, really? Thank God. I've never like I've seen like screen grabs of it, like Same. You know, with the fucking with the mountain yep. of, like shit. I know the music. I like the fan theories from the meme. The yeah, memes. I don't. Know. I've never seen like I've th I've seen like two guys, one horse or whatever. Dude, we Mr. all Hands? watched. Yeah, Mr. We Hands. all watched a man yeah. shit in somebody else's butthole together like a week ago. We can't okay? even say that because we'll actually get sued. We can't say. Wait, who. are you kidding me? Apparently, Umpi was telling me. I like, didn't say who. Yeah, Umpi was telling me. You oh, can yeah. get sued. Apparently, you, you can you can mention it, uh, uh, but you just have to be very careful because like it's obviously public knowledge. Oh, Mr. B Word Blippy. <laughs> You're such 
<laughs> good thing you, wow, you censored yourself, yeah, bro. Word, that was good. Whippy, I think that's Congrats. it. B word. B word. B word. Uh, did the Harlem Shake and then took an S word into another man's A. <laughs> <laughs> And, it, and was a pretty, it. <laughs> it was a very projectile shot too. Yeah. Like, holy fuck, that's disgusting. Yeah, what? you can you can find it at www.harlemshakepoop.com. <laughs> True story. We've been down this rabbit hole before. I swear, when he, when yeah. Uppy sent me the fucking like video, like the Wayback Machine, I opened it. It was like projectile. Like we're talking oh, point forty five cal into this. Like it was. It, it was it was like it's it was a, it was a, yeah it's it's very impressive to see how he hits and Charlie is like finding it shocking honestly it. But I, I don't want to go to Harlem Shake poop so I'll you got to go to the way back you have to go uh, to the yeah, way back go, it's yeah. been it's been scrubbed as much oh, yeah. as it can thankfully oh, yeah. the library of the internet has kept that fucking oh, yeah. historic record it's a good available. video it's a good video <laughs> but like he'll he'll sue anybody because like he has like he's got the biggest like kids channel stuff yeah. going on at the moment there's a solid amount of stuff on youtube about it uh i did make a video where i like kind of looked at blippy a little bit and then i mentioned it and it wasn't like trying to prod the bear obviously but uh what was blippy a, an air force guy by the way i think he was in the military he i mean he genuinely seems like a hilarious cool guy uh yeah. it's just like the you know being a children's entertainer is pretty lucrative so and it's a business. Well, like, think about it. You're a kids entertainer. You used to be like Air Force, like crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's shit and then, you, ass. dude, that's like that's some that's a fucking yeah. Swiss Army. I that was a thing. Dude, you gotta you gotta respect that man's accuracy though. The way he got yeah. it like across the room. That was pretty <laughs> cool. Okay, you're like you're embellishing it. He didn't do it across the room. <laughs> it was a solid like, three no, feet. No, no, no. This man, he, it was a solid three yeah, feet. A, like there was an arc, was like a classic. visible arc. Here I'll uh, I'll was good stuff. send it to him and like his cool. YouTube star Blippy regrets the viral video in which he poops all over his friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that doesn't do it justice. No, no. he gets it in this chocolate star. So, thing. how did this happen? Like, what was it like? A, he was a he was a performance artist, from what I understand. Before there you go, I sent it to you on Discord, Charlie. The way back, at least. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> good stuff, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> He opens it up, bam! <laughs> the fucking hits right there. Yeah, I had to rewind it a few times because like I couldn't process it mentally. I was that's like, impressive. Man. I mean, genuinely. No yeah, hate. That's what I'm no saying. You're gonna, you're gonna see the reflection no off my glasses, and Muda Hart's gonna get banned. <laughs> yeah, hey, Blippi, you got a strong dude. asshole. That thing is a. That thing is a rocket, dude. It just flies. I mean, you guys are gonna be uploading this shit too. I'm gonna fuck. Hey, I'm not taking the policy while uh, I don't care. Whoever, who cares? I'll, I'll take. I'll take the. I'll, I'll let Blippi take me to court. We're journalists, all right. We're just doing our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you know the funny thing is, like, I feel like every single one of us has done more for journalism this year than actual oh. like journalists. Dude. Big time. Let's like, actually speaking of journalism, let's talk about no. the fucking weird coverage that Nux got over his cancellation. <laughs> that was a fun moment. Um <laughs> Well, you have a platform now, so you might as well just talk about it. You might as well let it get out. Like I'll role play wow. Mari Povich, you role play <laughs> you do what you have to. <laughs> we'll figure out so, who's uh, right. actually while the whole thing was going on, I was talking to Muda and Charlie a lot, just like asking for advice and you know, helping and stuff. I didn't ask Umpy because he was probably like polishing his Glock. Um, <laughs> I, imagine, I imagine he was too. I actually, busy. just I just added this to the collection. That's what I was. Oh, let's go! Hell yeah! That's like yeah. Looney Tunes. It is. It's goofy. It's goofy. Can you please add like a fucking scope onto it, like a good rifle can, scope yeah. or something? <laughs> Why not? Put like yeah. a flashlight on it too. Yeah, I can make like this thing. Like... I can tack this thing out. Tack it out. That's what I want to see, man. <laughs> Shit. But like, yeah, you got you got like fucking canceled by like a few... when. So, just to preface for the audience, when Nux told me the whole story, and I know the whole story, when I was like looking. Yeah, into you it... knew this a month before all this went down, because I reached out to you and this guy was trying to fish me. Mm -hmm. and other people and swat them but like you you have the go together and then they just like all ally against you and like fucking so run weird. some campaign it was a rough moment for everyone involved mostly me but you you got out of it like relatively unscathed thank god for that yeah did you burn your bridges completely though with that community uh no like a lot of them were kind of misinformed with what was going on like, they didn't realize... So, the big thing was, a lot of people were claiming that I was asked not to upload a video. Which I think... I still think it, it was prudent to at least let the public know that there's fishing going on. Which, 
I'm still surprised no one else did. Like, I think as far as cybersecurity goes, the number one thing you got to do is let people know that someone is phishing, yeah. right? Like, raising awareness is the most important thing. So, uh, well, it's like I believe I raised too much awareness. Pe people, don't, people don't tend to notice it as much, but, like, I feel like lately with, you know, all the YouTube channels that are getting hijacked by, like, the crypto scammers yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of that is because they send like these sponsorship emails to like random YouTubers and they'll be like, oh, yep. Ray Shadow Legends, you're going to pay me 9000 yep. to like fucking play. And you click on a link, your channel's hijacked because they grabbed your tokens yep. and everything. And it's just like, yep. I don't know what, what the counter to that is. I feel like there's a lot YouTube can do on its back end to help prevent that kind of shit, you know, but like that requires rewriting systems that requires doing anything. People don't look that hard into like uh the email thread they don't look at like oh, are we actually getting it from a respectable company even if you do get it from like a third party company that's just trying to hook up a sponsorship because we all know how like third party companies do it right that's like the whole reason why you made yeah. hmg yeah. as well charlie because like agencies you gotta yeah yeah you gotta deal with all these like third party ad agencies and sometimes they'll just pretend to beat them and your channel's hijacked there's like literally almost nothing you can do i mean and in this scenario it's Someone applies to V Shoujo, which is a um, VTuber agency, and then they get an email saying, congratulations, you were accepted to V Shoujo, yeah. which is not legit. Well, how many people are going to realize that that's fake? I only realize it's fake because I never applied. I mean, I just signed up if they had sent it to me. I'm not even a VTuber. <laughs> So dumb I am. <laughs> well, well, like, well, what's, well, well, it's also one of the things like you guys have to hide your identity so hard. Like, we don't have to. Like, everyone knows I'm me, and everyone knows Oompy's Oompy. Everyone knows Charlie's Charlie. So we, like, part of me kind of wishes that I never showed my face and just like same, like so free. Part of me wishes that I don't know yeah. if like everyone else. Like, part of me just wishes I was like some silhouette figure, like from like would, some yeah. TV show or something with like a deep faked voice. But I mean. If you're running an organization and like people are out there to dox VTubers specifically, those who are hidden, it it really is paramount for you to talk about it and expose it, regardless of whatever. Which the fuck. is what was so crazy to me. And I even ran the video by them beforehand and they said, Oh yeah, we have no problem with this. Like then to tell me to take it down afterwards and also lie that everyone was asking me not to post the video, which I proved that was just a lie? It's, I don't know. It's a, yeah, I don't, it's a it's a fishy. They deleted their tweets and like, god damn. It's a shady organization. I remember when you were telling me like that whole night. I was like, I was just completely baffled that these people were acting in this manner. Like it was the most unprofessional yeah. shit I've ever seen from like an actual organization. You know, it's like at some point you're gonna have to like grow the fuck up and get a little corporate because this isn't how you do orgs like this. But you know who. What do we know? Like, uh, throughout my entire, like, experience there, I never never called anyone out by name at all. Like, they were, like, digging through my past, finding clips of me looking suspicious. I, I never called anyone out at all. All I wanted to do was kind of, like, make peace. <laughs> yeah, you were trying to be, like, and a grown-up in the NFC of fucking children. <laughs> it, it was it was a really trying experience. You were trying to, like, Gary V, and there's like, all right, kids. <laughs> 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 Speaking of VTubers, Charlie, when are you gonna get a VTuber into like Moist Esports? Oh, you guys are you guys are fucking killing it on Smash. I know. Yes. Our team is going wild. We got three majors now. That's huge. Three major dubs. Dude, when are you getting a yeah, skin dope. in the game though? When are you gonna get like some skins Ooh. to buy? That would be cool, man. Yeah, hopefully we can get something like that cooking at some point. Dude, you gotta get something oh, can in I Halo. Actually ask, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Can, can I ask? Because this is I've been wondering this for a long time. Your brand is being that you don't have like the same name on any platform like people don't even call you the names that you have on your platforms where you did the Penguin moist Zero? grease slime come from like how did that become your brand it started in college i just named our communal wii u character big moist and i was like that's a cool name your communal you wii u character name? yeah <laughs> You know you could have made multiple memes. <laughs> no, there's no reason for that. Nah, did nah. you go on to the Meverse though, before it got shut down? No, I don't think I ever did, actually. Oh, dude, you missed out on there a content stuff out there. factory right I there. I, I went on to the... Dude, I went on to it, and it was just like... It was just role plays. It's like, all right, boys, age 14, high school fantasy zombie role play, and you just jump in. I think the funniest thing I've ever read on that entire fucking Meverse thread was in the middle of role play, I think maybe like by scroll number four, 
Some guy started to enter it. It's like age 15, kidnapped by a Daesh terrorist group at a young age. I'm like, whoa. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just fucking Holy went at it. Shit. Dude. The, the role play gets pretty serious on. I mean, their drawings get really serious, too. Yeah, like, Weavers serious. doesn't. I mean, they shut it down. Anyone want to drinking and want to play on Meverse? Uh, dude, like they don't have a so. Meverse anymore. They don't even have it for Switch. Yeah, Switch is just. They've got the Metaverse 40... now, though. Well, you pay 40 you pay like how much 30 bucks to play like nintendo 64 roms and we still don't have a picto chat successor you still, I still can't get cringe on the nintendo i hear switch. Uh, if you pay i hear if you pay 60 bucks on the nintendo switch you could play a ds game that came out 10 years ago oh, dude, nintendo, don't baby. even get me i have even get me started do you, can you so you can buy like from what i understand the met this is totally relevant by the way this has to do with the metaverse uh and my my bug brain, <laughs> right? It just I just you know got... me and Charlie promoted the metaverse, by the way, just before you begin. You did. Uh, we're, I... we're the we're the actual me and him are brand ambassadors of a big project known as Earth Two. You've probably seen it on TikTok, <laughs> dude. I want to I want to know about. Uh, can you you can buy land in there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you can buy pictures of land. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's land in the metaverse. Don't listen to him. It okay. is land in the, the metaverse. Papers. I want to buy land in the metaverse. And like, how can can you start a cult in it? We can start yeah. a virtual cult. We can build Dude, a virtual cult. You can do temple. anything. Can we do, can we do that? Because really? I would you like that. You know what? That's that's a good idea. We yeah. should do that as a video. Let's just make uh, a fucking Earth Two. The first Earth I will two do that cult. if you want to. Do, I, I, that's like I think that's genius. Yo, I'm down too. Absolutely. I'll buy. I'm gonna buy the fucking land right now. <laughs> <laughs> the fly. We're, I'll work. Are we gonna, I'll be. Are we gonna buy the? Are we gonna buy this in West Hollywood so we can get like yeah. fucking the the robbery percent chance up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or San Francisco. <laughs> you know, oh, Schrodinger's land. It both exists and doesn't at the same land. time. Yeah, dude. When I saw this Earth Two shit, oh man, it's the amount of people who like are on copium like i pissed off like maybe one youtube channel who tried to be super condescending it's like this guy just doesn't understand the future metaverse i'm like yeah, uh, you just don't uh, get it man yeah it's like it's not rick and morty dude it's like it's <laughs> pretty complicated fucking... actually <laughs> It gets, it gets when, I, when, I, when I saw like, because uh, when Charlie posted his video, he was like, "I'm using," I'm like, cause he was talking about the TikTok shit. I went on TikTok. I'm like, "There's no way they just took clips out of the videos we made and tried passing them off as endorsements." Oh, <laughs> like, it's shameless. That's it insane. Is, did you see? Uh, God, what's this guy? The guy's name? The guy in Shark Tank? The bald oh, dude? Oh, Kevin. Kevin, him on Cameo. Like, if you pay him on Cameo enough, he'll like actually endorse your brand. Did you see no, that? That's cute though. That's kind of adorable. It's the funniest thing. You, know, you Chris can pay Hansen him on Cameo, it, yeah. Chris Hansen does it and like that. you could put his endorsement on your website, and it has like the little Cameo logo in the corner, like the watermark. Oh my god! <laughs> but it's like I'm whatever Kevin, <laughs> and I endorse, you know, poop shit. That's so crazy. I just looked at dude. We can pay a thousand bucks right now for Chris Hansen, and we can just use him as an introduction for this whole podcast. <gasps> he can a thousand. Can Chris, a, a thousand. Yeah, he's got a steep price. He's yeah, a. It's... I think he's like one of the top cameo. He's like just under Nico Cotto Avocado. You know, another big famous. Oh, of course. Star. Oh my God, I'm in the presence of the Holy Trinity right now. All three of you have made videos on Nico Cotto Avocado. Yeah, my Charlie's the, Charlie's the one that really fucking burned it in. Though. Yeah, your it's your like video actually went was meaningful. Yeah. Yeah, you 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 got caught in the into the Nico Cotto. I remember when I watched it, it was like, who is moist cuticles? I'm he like, hates you, bro. <laughs> I know he. He's not, he's not. He's fucking not hates you. I live streamed the other day. He was in my live chat fucking talking shit. It was so funny. Yo. He obviously, like, I think really? he likes me. He followed me on Twitter for, like, an hour and DM'd me. And he's, like, actually kind of, like, or he didn't DM me. He's been tweeting at me. I want to do a mukbang with him. I think that'd be hilarious. A mukbang. Yo, that would be great. Dude, I, I want to come and do it with you, but I don't know Dude. if I can eat that much. I don't oh, know yeah. if you can <laughs> eat. No one can I can't, eat no. that much. No, God, no. I barely finished this buttered pop tart. The best part about those mukbangs is like I look at one of these like thumbnails and it's just like an it's like a serving amount of food in their mm. mouth at one moment. Like Ugh. one ramen it's packet impressive. is like literally just one bite. Like for us, yeah. a ramen... I feel like Nikocado Avocado is the only person on YouTube that texts out his thumbnails more than Mr. Beast. It's just water weight, bro. It's just water weight. Yeah, yeah so it's your fault. Yo, Opie, you know why he likes you? Why? Because you have a whole like series making fun of fat people. Yeah, like he's no different than anyone well, else on your. Well, channel. there's a the person he's been filming with lately is called Hungry Fat Chick. She's she was like uh like an like she looked good like four or five years ago, dude. She's gained gained like three hundred pounds, literally. It's terrifying. 
Like she, yeah, it's like, just so sick. You, you can't even, you can't even be surprised. It's like, remember like three years ago, Nico Kato, completely yeah, different looking, looking character. Yep. Like, and and the, the funny thing is, it's like, I like Nico Kato because I feel like his care, like, obviously he's playing a character. Like, he's right, probably a really chill guy, like, yeah. in real life, obviously. Like, he's not, like, Nico Kato 24-7. No. But it's just, he made that one mention in the video. I think it was, like, a response to Charlie or just in general. He was like, people just like watching it. Like, this yeah. is this this is it. Like, this is how I get views. And I'm like, is that the system, like, rewarding him? Or is it just, like, he's cultivated a community that likes to watch a big person, you know, fucking I don't know. I don't know. Very good. Do you guys know the McDouble pig? No. Six no, McDoubles we, we, in this big don't. fat hairy gut. You guys, I cannot believe that you don't know this. Uh, Dude, we don't make videos talking about This fat isn't a fat <laughs> guy. This is an internet legend. All right. This is akin to cake Wait, farts. Wait, you're talking about oh, is he the hairy guy and the, blow the slob? Whitey tighties. Yeah. Yeah. Harry yeah, Gerstle, yeah. yeah. Oh. Six McDoubles in his big fat gut. I love that this guy. This guy is huge. He's awesome. <laughs> Every single video is like age restricted. Oh. He <laughs> ate an eight pound remember. chicken in a video. I can't believe that like this man eating gets age restricted, but then you have like the period prank. Oh no, this like when he eats, it's a sensual experience. Yeah, it's, it's uh, very disturbing. I know who you're talking about now. Don't yeah. even get me started on the period pranks. You want to elaborate on that, Nox? You brought it up, <laughs> so go ahead. Oh yeah, actually, I'm us. glad you mentioned it because I think that that's a niche in YouTube that we should find a way to capitalize on. I think Gary we should all make there. period period prank <laughs> channels. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, Charlie, you know about the period pranks? I do. I am kept up to date. Yeah. Let's go. Well, Zam! Well, you know Chad, saying? I guess, I, well, I mean, audience, I guess I'll explain because Nux doesn't want to take the fucking beating on this one. For those of you who don't know, there's this thing called... I see you up, bro. Well, there's, there's things called family channels. And I love them. Like most, they're terrible. They're awful, <laughs> disgusting channels that should have nowhere, anything close to family-friendly shit. Well, some of them have found that you can put up your, your daughter... How do I explain this without getting that sounded scared? really yeah. weird? Dude. It, well, that's I'm explaining the premise yeah, no, no. of it. Okay, okay. Right. The prank <laughs> is simple. The prank is simple. I mean, they just Someone to is have like, yo, right. I could get my four year old daughter to pretend she that has a gets period views. to psych that, out my girlfriend. That is promoted by YouTube. In the and that is promoted yeah, by you. That, that is promoted. That hits yeah. the algo and the comment section. Dude, the comment sections are the weirdest things about oh. them. It's like, wow, funny joke, amazing. It's like all botted up the ass. Yeah. And it's, Got him. Well, do you guys know about like all the other family channels? Like, you guys know yeah, like this guy named. Him. No, do you guys know about that Jordan Matter guy? Mm. You don't know Jordan Matter? Okay, so. Uh, well, I guess you guys can just go on YouTube.com and just look up Jordan Matter. Go to his, like, just look at his thumbnails. Just look at the thumbnails. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. This guy actually had his channel, like, I guess, rem like, he couldn't, like, you couldn't comment on his channel because people were sharing, like, wild oh stuff. Oh, my God. It's so oh weird, dude. Oh, my God. I, I know. I know. That's... What the fuck? But, like, that's imagine that. full-on fucking promoted. Like, Oh, yes, you disturbing. showed us this yeah. guy before. Can't imagine <gasps> so I know about this because when I was out in Los Angeles with the guys, so obviously YouTube prioritizes their, like, recommended to each channel, right? right. And we're all signed in usually. So we were unsigned on a TV, and I think we put on, like, a Travis Scott song, and it just, mm -hmm. like, auto-played to this. And this is what we, like, this is the Jordan Matter experience that we were watching, and it's like... The thumbnails alone are super weird, but like you watch the actual content and it's like, it's just the comment sections get weird. Everything about it gets weird. It's just like, I don't know. Like, I, I mean, I like, I, I just, it comes across as super odd to me is all it is. You know? I agree. I agree. Yeah, I think it's very strange. It is really weird. weird. So I'm about to shit my pants. How long do you guys plan on doing the podcast episodes for? I don't know. I mean, usually we just end on like an hour or two. You're the expert. You should, you should tell us. I mean, you say usually, but this is the first. Oh, week. true. <laughs> this is the debut. Oh wait, you didn't ask the question. The question that you wanted to ask from the beginning. What? The suicide what? question. Oh, well. When you, when you, when, what, are the, what are the what are the best What's boys? Best, when do you guys boys? think Ghislaine Maxwell is I'll going out? I put down one stick, dicks. Saying within <laughs> I'll put down five stick, dicks. within three weeks. Three weeks. Done. I'll go against the grain. She doesn't. She doesn't die. Ooh. Bullshit. Ooh. All right, all right. I, My I, I, theory I is think, I think she does that. die. Really However, yeah. someone like Hillary Clinton tweets out, "I'm so sorry for her loss." A day before she dies, uh, and then the like Hillary deletes Clinton the tweet and America. apologizes. Yeah, 
I think three weeks. I think three weeks. weeks She's gonna she's gonna end up like just. Uh oh, Ghislaine Maxwell slipped on an entire round, entire magazine of forty five ACP. Uh oh, (laughs) she slipped and fell, and a bullet went in her head. (laughs) Whoops. Well, I mean, if I lose, I owe you a stick, dicks. Okay, so I'll buy one right now. And uh, if I'm right, you give me your, and I'll give you my, I'll dick, dick you dicks. down, you dick me down, okay? Bro, it doesn't matter. You're my adding dog. to the validity of stick dicks by giving them cool catchphrases. Dick and down your bros. <laughs> I don't know why they're paying Jake Paul, guys. You just pay me instead. Fuck it. I'll run, di- I'll run stick dicks into the, into the ground faster. <laughs> stick dicks. So stupid. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's our primary chief sponsor. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you want to go check, it, no, don't do stick dicks. No, 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 no. No, that's a bad, that's a bad <laughs> idea. Don't listen to what I just said. Don't do it. But uh, yeah, I think we'll just tie it off here, guys. Fuck it. Thanks for having right. me on, boys. No problem, man. It's go good to have shit. you on anytime. Yeah. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the podcast, go check out. Uh, you want to plug it yourself, Charlie? Uh, well, where's the podcast going? Check out some ordinary podcast. HarlemPoop.com, baby. Oh, no, 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 we're talking about you. <laughs> yeah, check out check out Moist Critical's channel at Harlem. Yeah, your podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Big yeah you moist have to use Harlem the Wayback Poop. Machine. Yeah. It will be a soiling experience. <laughs> you'll, you'll you'll find it if you if you dig hard enough. But yeah, go check out. You know, uh, well, you guys end the way you do. People know. You know, I'll outrow somehow. You guys go ahead. Hell yeah. Yo, check me out. Nuxtaku. Oompy. Yeah, I guess if you want to. You can. <laughs> if you want to about fat lore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, we're I'm the worst YouTubers expert. of all time. Come check me out if you just want to see a guy shit posting every day. So <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. But yeah, let's uh let's head on out. Peace. Bye everyone. <laughs>